So this is Big Beast Hunter, and the idea behind the deck is pretty simple. Basically, you want to cheese out the biggest minions you can with the Big Dreams, the new card that came out with the new expansion. Then you also have Faithful Companions, which has two potential win conditions. One, playing it on turn seven and getting out a Banjo Sword to start snowballing stats with this new giant card, or potentially playing it on turn 10 to get two King Crushes for a ton of potential burst damage. You'll notice that this deck has a law of one and two drops, and that's to help you against more aggressive matchups like Pure Aggro Paladin, Shadow Priest, and the Outcast Demon Hunter, which is quite fast, and it's one of the new decks. And the idea behind it is you take out some of your mid game, and you can actually make this okay by playing the Scourge Tamer. Scourge Tamer can generate you a four, five, six, or seven cost beast, depending on what you need, and it can kind of help fill that role while also giving you some early game presence on the board. So if you like mediocre gameplay of pretty much every deck imaginable, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a ton, and it'll get you recommended my content more often. Uh, we get rid of Hydrolodon for sure. Do I want to keep Barrel of Monkeys? The answer is probably yeah, if they're going the aggressive rogue build that I've seen a bit. Um, okay, we can trade away the Strangled Thorn Heart turn one. At least we can use our one mana for something, and it's not useless. It's just like a, a, a little bit of cycle, which I don't mind. We can also use it with Doggy Biscuit, but I'd rather save the Doggy Biscuit to give something rush. Don't like seeing Hydrolodon, but I will say, of all the beasts to have in my hand, I would say that that's probably one of the better ones. Selective Breeder, Barrel of Monkeys, or Scourge Tamer. I'm gonna go Scourge Tamer. It's a 2-2, which means it can kill off that 1-2 pretty easily. Uh, I like you. You're just a decent card. And then, uh, okay, you curve out turn three really, really well. You are a 4-4 four, four rush with a decent battle cry for three mana. I got three signature legendaries. Two of the five of them are golden or in the golden packs. Nice. Congratulations. They get a secret. That's fine. We're going to play the zombie beast. We're going to dredge. Um, hopefully a one drop. Well, actually, I don't even know if I care. I mean, baddie guest would be good, but the other two have decent battle cries that I want to actively use. Um, hmm. Wild Spirits is just pretty valuable, right? And then this goes here. Yep, it's gonna be the Perjury. Next turn will probably be Wild Spirits. Trade away Doggy Biscuit. Although, I don't actually know if that really works. Instead of doing that, we might have to go Barrel of Monkeys. Okay. I've lied. I think it's gonna go Doggy Biscuit. Because Barrel of Monkeys gets me more resources as the time goes on. Okay, it's not counter. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be really annoying, isn't it? Are you, what are you? Are you objection? You are objection. It's kind of bad because I wanted to get the extra thing. I wanted to get the extra thing, that's fine. Wait, what are they? Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, um. Am I down to play the, the these things? I would say, yeah, I am. What? Oh, shoot. Um, I need to find the new core set cards. I don't remember what all of the new rogue secrets are. The And the Hearthstone deck tracker has not updated yet, so I'm going to have to figure out... Um, not figure out, but I'm going to have to look at it real quick. What are, the, what are the rogue ones? Rogue has now... Plagiarize, I knew that. Ambush. When I summon a minion, he gets a 2-3 stealth with Poisonous. Which has to be the thing that it is, right? So they're gonna get a 2-3 stealth with Poisonous here. Or is it when I attack? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's the ambush. The other one got objected, which makes sense. Then we're gonna play... Barrel of Monkeys. And then I think we're just going to smack this. You might be wondering, why not do damage? The reason is because I don't want this 5-4 to die killing this and then them pulling out a 3-3 three, three for free. I'd rather just play the 3-3 three, three myself along with Wild Spirits next turn for 6 mana. Turn 7 this, turn 8 like this, Noggling, and then whatever else we can get our hands on. Jackpot, fair enough, fair enough. I kind of want to play this Jackpot Rogue. It utilizes secrets, which is something that not a lot of decks do. We're going to go boom. Is it ambush? Does not appear to be. Okay, it's going to draw them two cards, and then I guess it's probably going to be perjury. And then we'll kill off the 5-3. We didn't get a rush. I didn't see a green glow, so I think killing that off makes the most sense. 
Sticky situation. Oh, okay. I actually did not expect sticky situation. This jackpot rogue seems pretty cool though. I'm actually 100% down to try this and kind of yoink their deck. Probably won't play it immediately, but I'll, I'll, I'll play it at some point. Deck code for this deck? Yes. I'm not 100% sure if the deck codes are working because a lot of the cards are new, but it should work. That doesn't really matter too much to me. That doesn't really matter too much to me. We can kill off this and this with Hydralodon. Both of the three four stay alive, but like, what am I really supposed to do here anyway? Mr. Mukla could make them overdraw, but let's let's still stick with the hyperlord on here. Boom and boom. Even if they do use a big board wipe, this will dodge it, so we'll get a weapon at the end. And again, this is my biggest problem with having a um with having one that's this uh that having a forty card version of the deck. It's because. It, we're just less likely to draw big dreams, which is kind of a big win condition. If the 5-5 five, five lives here, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Honestly, all I really want is one of my minions to live. Please. Okay. Statistically unlikely, but fine. I'll allow it, I guess. Do I want to play Mr. Mukla? I do kind of want to play Mr. Mukla and just kill the 3-4. It's gonna fill their hand. They only get two bananas and they're gonna overdraw and then we can still play this, which is solid. And then we play a barrel of monkeys. This goes here and then we go face for three. What do they overdraw? Fingers crossed something good. That's actually a very, very annoying card. I'm pretty, excuse me, happy they lost that. I'm down. Probably going to deal three damage, destroy a random enemy minion would be my guess. Wow, so good, so much better than me. and it hits a 10-7. Oh, it doesn't hit the 10-7. Oh, Pog Champ? Okay, well, that's great. Well, it forces them to use the other one, I guess, which is not bad. I'm gonna have to kill that off, which should be fairly easy. Probably trade away Doggy Biscuit to kill that. I think flooding the board right away makes more sense to me. So let's uh, trade this to give this rush to kill this off. What do we draw now off of the trade? Anything? We get big dreams. It's not really that useful anymore. Uh, this goes here to kill that off. We're gonna play boom, barrel of monkeys, hero. Wait, what? I can't do math. And then we'll hit him in the face. I don't really wanna play the heart, but I want it in my hand at this point because now we're getting to the point where we can play the big minions. Faithful companions would be a great card to draw soon. Maybe I should have traded the heart away. But it still is a potentially like good win condition, right? So I really don't see a point in doing that. I'm gonna play the uh, the banjo sore. Okay. So they've got. Oh no, they're gonna get rid of the banjo sore. Maybe they get rid of the heart. Oh, they get rid of the heart. Oh, cool. I actually don't mind that too much at all. And then you're gonna shadow us up the five five, which is, I mean, obviously a bummer. Oh, you're gonna give it a banana. Okay. So we play the banjo. We're gonna hit here. It's gonna get pumped up, guaranteed to kill this off. We get King Crush, which is nice. And then we're gonna go probably 2-1. And then these go face. I just wanted to make a little bit more room. It's probably gonna be perjury. Not per yeah, perjury, sorry. Okay, if they can't kill the 13-8, we snowball out of control here, right? I can already see the OTKs in wild with King Crush and Charged Devil Sore. Yeah. Oh shoot. We can't really play a minion. We're gonna have to bait it out with wild spirits, right? Oh no. Leave this alive, please. I guess it could be Vengeful Visage. We bait out Vengeful Visage with the one two first. Pump, don't really mind that too much. Are you vengeful? It's Ice Barrier. Okay, so do I get lethal here? Can I find lethal here? 13 damage, so we got 21. There is no way for us to get lethal here. It is impossible. I don't want them to shadow step this. I think just going face feels super good though. I think going face just feels so freaking good. 
We just gotta do it. We get another Banjo Sword. It's not the greatest. We'll play this Banjo Sword though and hit the one, two. And it's just gonna be a lot of stats on the board at this point. We get the Saber. Not the greatest, but it's fine. There really aren't that many more beasts left in the deck anyway. It's setting up to kill him next turn. And we're thinning out our deck a little bit. Yeah, they're just gonna concede. Maybe I played that suboptimally. Maybe I could have just played the Elec and protected my other minions, but getting more stats felt really good. So here's the issue that I have with this current hand. I like it a lot because I don't really have that many three drops, but I need to get rid of some of them. And I think Harpoon Gun is more important than Wild Spirits, but I guess it could matter the matchup. We're gonna keep Harpoon Gun though. I'm not sure if that was correct over Wild Spirits. I really don't know. I'm hoping to draw a one drop here so I can have something to play right away, but if not, it's okay. Yeah, Hydrolodons, whatever. Turn two, turn three, turn four. I mean, we put in an extra one, two, three, four, one drop, so that way we would have stuff to play early. But it's not that big. They don't have one, which is fine. I think we just go for the biggest minion we possibly can here, right? Uh, huge. Into also stealth. And then we're going to play big dreams. And then we're going to try to slam him in the face for as much damage as possible. Yeah, that makes sense to me. It's an eight drop. It's a 10, seven stealth. We're gonna play this on turn uh, five. Turn three, turn four, turn five. And if we do happen to get another minion, like that's fine, I'll just play this zombies. We do end up getting another minion, but we can play this on turn eight. It's not the end of the world. Let's see what we dredge. Anything good. Um, you on turn four. Pretty good, actually. I mean, I would go so far as to say that's kind of broken. Better than the school teacher for sure. Uh, next will be Amplified Elec for eight. Shield block. I feel like Mr. Mukla for four, even though there's no rush, making them overdraw here is just too good. Slamo and then Kaplui. We'll dredge to the top another Elec. And then we'll hit him in the face. They lost a shield block. Not actually that good, but it's something for sure. Um, uh-oh. That could get out of hand very quickly. Amplified Elec for eight mana. Love to see it. We're going to go school teacher, see what we get. I was supposed to go this, but we'll go animal companion instead. As opposed to do this for the 10 drop. I kind of trolled. I played on autopilot, but in my defense, I do feel like I need to end the game really fast before they snowball with the rock and roll. I do think trying to snowball this as quickly as possible is the correct choice. So like, even though you could argue that my choice was incorrect, I still think that there's merit to it. The 10 goes here, that's fine. Bunch of bananas, do I have lethal here somehow? So that's 10, this goes here, right? And it lives, so that's fine, it lives with two, it doesn't matter. One, two, or so it's four, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Nope, we don't have lethal, so we're gonna go big dreams, pull out the Elec, and I should have done that last turn, and then we're gonna make our taunt minion bigger, and then these go face, I guess. I kinda trolled, but it's okay. If they play like one big taunt minion, I can play Hydrolodon to try to get over it. I misread this matchup super hard. Is Restaurant Viper still in standard? Yes. I think a lot of control decks should start running it for sure. Because there are a lot of um, decks that run weapons, whether they be pre-existing weapons like the Harpoon Gun or the new uh, instrument weapons. All of them are very good. Deck code, I just sent the deck code, but I'll send it again. See, that was, that was a bit awkward. I don't know, playing this and then this with the Animal Companion to push damage, I think makes more sense, because who knows, maybe if I played this first and I gave them one or two more turns to stay alive, like maybe that would have backfired. I don't know. Brazilliax? Oh no, plus banana. That's not good at all. They're gonna heal a lot of HP here. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, the 10 kills it, they heal nine more. Luckily, that's most of their healing gone. Can I kill it in some other way? The answer is no. Dude, that really sucks. Oh, that really sucks. We're gonna go double, we're gonna go one banana, hero power, two monkeys. Leave a spot on my board open, but just still keep applying that pressure. We got, so now they're down a big heal. They lost a shield block. We get to play a stealth minion. That's pretty insane, actually. 
And you get this big taunt minion in, in the way of killing off these things, which is nice. Replacement for a Hydralodon? There really is no replacement for Hydralodon. There aren't really, oh my god. I don't know if I can kill this minion. I legitimately don't think I can kill that minion. No matter what I do. We can play you, stealth, destroying a minion, pass. But that minion is so big, I do not think that there is a realistic way I can kill that. That is insane. That is a quadrupled stat. Could you imagine if they had five armor? Is Rogue good? I would say Rogue's good, but high skill cap. It's got, a, it's got like some really good combo potential, but I also think that it's got like, it's, it's a high skill cap. It'll be hard to pull off, hard to be consistent with it. And it'll need some more time than other decks to be optimized. That's just my opinion though. Maybe other people who are really good at Rogue have already kind of optimized it. If you want to know more about Rogue, I would recommend going to like J Alexander or something. Very good Rogue player. I'm trying to think if there is anything else that I could have wanted that would have been Oh my god. How does that end up working? And then do they rush in? They do rush in. I think that's a misplay. I think them rushing in is a misplay because now it means that I can kill off their 825 with my 107. Oh my gosh, that's 18 damage to my face. That's huge. And then I don't have the damage to finish them off, unfortunately. We got one banana. We can play an eight cost Elec plus a banana. And just keep going face. Didn't have lethal. That's okay. We came close to finding lethal though. Go ahead. Hit me with your best shot. Am I dead dead? No! That's crazy that we lose this unless we top deck King Crush. That is absurd to me that we lose this unless we top deck King Crush. Never mind, we still don't lose this. Ha! Ha! Broken! Did somebody say broken? They hero power hit a 612 and then they rush into the other one. If they have a charge minion or another trench stalker, they could win the game here. Lava Gorger, rude, but we do have Banjo Sword to possibly deal with that. We also have Hydralodon. What the fuck? Absolutely not! Oh my god! No! What do you mean? <laughs> Blood Death Knight, it's definitely a bad matchup for me because they have so many ways of killing individual minions. Asphyxiate, um, Obliterate. Not to mention Corpse Explosion to do with the Wide Board Dominion, Soul Stealer. It could be rough. Uh, I like this hand though. Even Doggy Biscuit, like we can play Batty Guest turn one, and then depending on what they do, we'll either go Spirit Poacher or Doggy Biscuit. What we could do is we could go Batty Guest turn one, this turn two, turn three would be Doggy Biscuit, Coin, Barrel of Monkeys. Looks like it's gonna be Blood, which I'm definitely not favored into. But we'll see how it goes. It's it's winnable, I want to say, possibly. Oh! Oh, that's quite bad for me, actually. That's really bad, because they can go trade and then hero power hit here. I guess that means we save the coin. Well, I guess the 2-2 two -two could still live. Wow, what are you doing? Hello? What on earth? Spirit Poacher makes the most... Oh, they're saving that for their Construct Quarter turn, I would assume. Boom, this goes here so we can get a 2-1. What do you give me? The stag is decent. Next turn will probably be this and this instead of Barrel of Monkeys. Yep, okay, they're gonna summon that now for zero, not get Construct Quarter Value, then get the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, and we're being Vizier. Oh, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. Banjosaur, interesting. We're gonna go draw a card. Hopefully not bananas. Hopefully this one's tracking. We do get tracking. I wanna go doggy biscuit and then kill this off. Should probably be going a little harder face here, but I think that this is fine. We'll start going face soon once we can play taunt. No, that's a problem. I can coin out Hydralodon on six, which could be really, really good. What do we draw? We get big dreams. We coin out big dreams. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, not even a difficult decision at all. Uh, and then I guess we just go full face. I mean, then they can trade here. This stays alive. No, if they trade here, the weapon kills it. We go face here. 
If this goes here, we get the weapon, we hit here. This will come alive in two turns to kill off a minion. We still got tracking to try to find something big. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I mean, I'm okay with this entire situation right now. Vampiric Blood is fine. Do they kill the 4-3 and kill off their minion? And then Hero Power kill off the 1-1? If so, not the biggest deal in the world. Looks like that's what they're doing. Don't mind too much. Probably tracking into double barrel of monkeys. Would be my guess. Unless we draw something really, really good here for five. Actually, I don't even know what we need to draw here. Stranglethorn Heart, interesting. Would I like to trade that away? The answer is no. Might be wondering why the answer is no, and it's pretty simple. I wanna try to get as many of these things as possible. Let's go Selective Breeder. But I wanna try to play this and burst him down with a ton of King Crushes, so let's go Selective Breeder. Hope for a King Crush and then play that on nine eventually, or get another big dreams. We don't get King Crush, but we can fill their hand with bananas, which would make them overdraw a card, which is bad for them. So let's take that. Boom, hit him in the face for three. This is not bad. I don't want to way overcommit to the board. Luckily, Hydrolodon is a great way to refill the board if we do happen to lose it, but they're never going to play like two minions, right? Oh, that doesn't actually freeze my, uh, this minion. That doesn't freeze this minion. So we hit him in the face. Another tracking stuff, not in the face. We hit him here. We get the Alec, which is huge, by the way. I don't really want to play Mukla, so let's just play two monkeys and then hero power. I like the monkeys. They're cute. Look how cute that monkey is! Look how cute they are! They're buddies in a barrel! Awesome. They can't play Soul Stealer yet. Corpse Explosion isn't gonna be nearly enough damage yet. Oh, well, I guess Asphyxiate works. Nerubian Vizier, we're going to play Mr. Mukla to make sure they overdraw. And we'll also probably go Tracking. Probably go Tracking first, that makes the most sense to me. Faithful Companion, really, really good. Um, but we're not gonna play it yet. I don't actually want King Crush. I wanna try to get multiple copies of it from Faithful Companion. And I think odds are decent that it happens. So let's take Wild Spirits. We're gonna play Mukla. It's going to hit this. And then these are gonna all go face. And he's gonna overdraw a card and hopefully it's something good. Fingers crossed. Blood Boil, it's decent. It's a way that they can gain a lot of HP very quickly. So I'm fine with that. They're gonna play Soul Stealer this turn. Then I'm gonna play, oh, Asphyxiate. Fair enough, the three mana kill my one big thing. Awesome. Love to see it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Plague Strike? Are you gonna hit one of these things? Because I'll be fine if you hit it. Yeah, hit it. And then I'll hit this. King Crush? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That makes Faithful Companion so much worse. That makes Faithful Companion so much worse. Well, we'll do this. I can't believe we drew that. I actually can't believe that happened. I cannot believe it. King Crush is still decent. Like, it's still gonna push a lot of damage phase. Then we have this. And then we have hero powers and potentially some other discovered things. Like, it's not the end of the world. But it's definitely a bummer. No way! And the Blood Boil? Don't tell me of your other Blood Boil. Okay, no Blood Boil. Huge. My blood for the King. Huge! I don't know why I did that, but that's good. Okay, King Crush, slam eight damage into their face. Then I think Faithful Companions is still more important to play before you play the heart. Okay, that's fine. They're limiting the damage they take by a bit. It's not bad. Banana. Fair enough. More bananas. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Do I just go full face here? I feel like full face is just the answer. I don't care about a 4-5. Slam him. Kablam them. Kablooey. Kaplow. And because we got rid of their other blood boil, I'm not actually that worried about a blood boil here getting rid of all my- They could top deck it. Oh, that's not great. They could generate it. That would be a lot of healing. Deck code? I sent it a little bit earlier. Maybe it's still copy pasted. That should be it. Obliterate. They do take some damage, which I'm happy with. Whoa, after your hero- wait. After your hero gains health, summon a- Oh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. They should just be dead though, right? We'll play the new spell though. 
Hopefully we get King Crush. Do we? Woo! Got King Crush, baby! Hog champ. Love to see it. Ever keeping King Crush, Banjo Sore, or Prince Renathal. Don't get me wrong, Prince Renathal is fine. Like, if I draw him on turn three, like, I'll deal with it. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, but it's definitely not a card that I want to see in my opening hand, so it's fine. Which Paladin deck do you think is best? Uh, the big Paladin, the one that we just played against. It's so strong. Like, it hard loses to Silence, so I mean, like, if I want to run Silence in this deck, it could probably be helpful. But oh my goodness, it is insane how strong that deck can be if you can get Kangor out turn 5. But then again, if you don't get him out turn 5, that deck kind of just falls apart. So I guess it can go either way. We're gonna play the, uh, the Musician. They love a little then next turn, I think it just goes Doggy Biscuit to try to snowball this as quickly as possible. Then turn three, Harpoon Gun. Turn four, might just be Trinket Tracker and then trying to find, you know, like maybe we get a, what's it called? Maybe we get, you know, bunch of bananas and we just spend the rest of our mana pumping stuff up. Or if we get something really good off of Harpoon Gun, maybe we play that. I don't 100% know yet, but we have ideas, we have plans. Is 2v2 ever gonna be a possibility, do you think? I don't think that they'd ever come out with a 2v2. It would just fundamentally be so hard for them to implement into the game. I mean, this is a 3-6 that they're gonna have to figure out a way to deal with. They're gonna, I mean, if they have Barrel of Monkeys, it kind of sucks. Because then I'd have to send like a lot of resources in, but we'll see. I think next turn is Wild Spirits over anything else. Okay, they were hovering a beast in their hand, which makes me think that they're going a slightly more aggressive deck. Animal Companion? Oh, they are going a more aggressive deck. I'm gonna have to kill off the 4-2. Uh, the we're gonna play Wild Spirits first though, because if we get the 3-1 Rush minion, we can just keep going face. That gets the extra stats, and then we get that, which is not great. We have to trade here, because I can't continue taking 4 damage. It lives with a little bit, which is decent. I'm definitely a little bit bummed uh, for the Animal Companion, but it's fine. Okay. Wait, why do you run Animal Companion in this deck? If you're going the deck I think you're going, Animal Companion just seems so counterintuitive. Oh, and we can't even play Harpoon Gun here because it gets rid of the uh, the effect. Selective Breeder is good. We'll play the Trinket Tracker, see what we draw. We get bunch of bananas. We're gonna play Boom. And we're just gonna go wide. Uh, you curve out. But the Sunken Saber, we could play that and then play Harpoon Gun in two turns, three turns, and get the Saber, which I think just is better overall. Then we'll go bunch of bananas on our Taunt Minion, I guess, because we have an extra mana, why not? Then next turn will probably be Saber Banana, and then turn six will probably be Coin Out Faithful Companion, and try to find like King Crush or a Banjo Saur or maybe an Elec, depending on what's on the board at the time. Okay, they get the Saber, they're gonna draw it next turn. Bunch of bananas, it's fine. I can kill that off, no problem. And I actually get to keep my Saber alive, which isn't the biggest deal in the world, but it's still nice, I guess. We get Mukla. Oh. Now hold on just a second. We coin out Mr. Mukla. Make them overdraw the card, which is their, their Rush minion. And that way they don't get value. So now they overdraw their Saber. They lose value on that. And... They have a bunch of bananas, which does kind of suck, but we have a 10-10 out there, and that should just be enough to win the game. Oh! The art on the banana changes? Yeah, they're really cute. You lose bananas, and then when you play the Barrel of Monkeys, the monkeys disappear as well, and I think the second art for the monkeys is so cute, they're like, kind of hugging in the barrel or something. But yeah, this card right here, you could say like, oh no, filling your opponent's hand with bananas can be a downside, but at the same time, it's not a downside all the time. Like, it is. Sometimes, if they have stuff on the board, like, it definitely feels bad sometimes, especially if they have a wide board. But, when you make them overdraw their win condition, chef's kiss. 